best moments. <laughs> I'm a <big> sucker. <laughs> As if you were good at that. I just wish I had gotten all of it. <laughs> It was off the grid. I know what it was off of. You think I don't know that? You nutter. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel or welcome to it if you guys are new here. I'm feeling fairly motivated today. I actually woke up decently early around 8.30 this morning and took a shower and got ready first thing before I even had my morning coffee. So that's pretty abnormal for me. I wanted to get to the post office before they closed today so I could pick up one of my parcels that was there for Skylar May's bedroom. And I also have to pick up another one later that is at my sister's house. I had to order it to my sister's house because since we have a P.O. box, apparently you can't order certain packages to P.O. boxes, which is just absolutely ridiculous because it's literally going to a post office. But anyways, so I have to go pick up that and then set that up in her room also. And her room is almost finally complete. But my objective today besides that is going to be tackling our closets, decluttering and reorganizing the closets because it is very much needed. I think I'm going to start off with Skylar Mace. So this is Skylar Mae's closet right now, very cluttered, very messy, very chaotic. <laughs> There's no really rhyme or reason to anything that's going on right now. I would love to get her a small dresser to fit in here so I could take this out of her closet and hang up all of her coats and stuff up here instead of them hanging down here. But this is kind of what we're working with right now. So this is the before of her closet. I would love to clean up everything on the shelf up there, reorganize her clothes, go through her clothes, get rid of everything that doesn't fit her. All of her shoes are on the bottom there. Um, get her diapers out of the box and put them somewhere else and then go through these drawers as well. Um, her socks and toques and like nylons and stuff are in that drawer. The second one is full of like felts and markers and kind of like arts and crafts stuff. And then the bottom one is clothes that are like for her to grow into, but those can just come out because honestly, she's probably gonna fit them soon. And then we just have her diaper bag here. This basket kind of has her all of her bath stuff in it and her hair stuff. And then there's quite literally just random stuff up here that I had no idea where to put. I have her shoes lined up on the bottom, um, her little laundry bin, her clothes, and her little dresser, and then her little socks, toques, and stuff. 
her little squish backpack that her grandma Ellie got for her. I have all of her jackets and dresses hung up here as well as her house coat. And then she just has her little memory box, her scrapbook that grandma Linda made for her, her Bluetooth headphones, and then her diapers, wipes, and diaper bag up there. Like I mentioned before, I would love to get a little white dresser to go in here for her or a gray dresser. Maybe I can find one on Marketplace and even paint it myself. That might have to be a summer project, but right now this is kind of what we're working with and I think it looks way more open, much more neat and clean. So I am super happy with it. And we got rid of a whole huge garbage bag full of clothes and a couple pairs of shoes. So I will give this to my mom so that she can take it to Value Village to donate it there and get some points or whatever I'm pretty sure she gets. But that is definitely a good start. So it's been a few days later and I've decided to switch up this vlog a little bit as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail. I see lots of vlogs of people like doing a lot of decorating videos but along the way before they give you like the final reveal they show you like the process leading up to it. So I thought that would be kind of cool to do with Skylar Mae's bedroom since we're still not completely finished but there is still a few more things to get and a few more things to kind of hang up and just little pieces that are going to bring it together. So I thought I would start filming some of the process for you guys. After I was done cleaning out and reorganizing Skylar Mae's closet, I just kind of went rogue and it decided to rearrange her whole entire room. And for the first time, I actually really, really love how it's turned out and how I've kind of rearranged everything. So, and it just made me really excited to share it with you guys. The two packages that I got in the last clips were like a front, a forward facing bookshelf for her room and then a nightstand. Didn't include building and setting those up in her room because I kind of decided to switch it up with this vlog after I had already done that. But I will show you guys the packages that I am currently waiting to come in. So I have had this in my Amazon cart for literally over a year because I always said when she got her, um, when she finally got her own bedroom, if you guys have been following us for a while, you know that um, before we moved into this house last summer, we were in a one bedroom place. So we shared a bedroom with Skylar Mae for the first two and a half years of her life. Now that she finally has her own room and we're decorating it and it's almost done and putting it all together, this is what I want to hang on her door to kind of symbolize like this is Skylar Mae's room. It's a little macrame rainbow and I'm gonna hang that on her door and I just think that is super freaking adorable. This one should be at the post office by this weekend so I'm hoping to go pick it up then. Skylar Mae absolutely loves mirrors, loves mirrors, loves cameras. She loves seeing herself. Um, she is constantly in mine and Chris's bedroom in front of our mirror that we have in the corner there. And she is always talking to herself in the mirror. She has like a little makeup mirror at my mom's house as well. So I've been wanting to get her a cute little mirror to hang up in her bedroom. And I found this one on Amazon for pretty cheap. It was $20.99 and it is so freaking adorable. It's kind of like an, again, like macrame style. It's the cutest little circle mirror and it has little like feather tassels on the bottom of it. And I just think it's absolutely adorable and it's gonna fit with her room so well. And then I ordered this kind of picture wall art set. It comes in a set of six and I thought these were too cute not to get. Again, super cheap. These were also $20 for a package of six and they don't come with frames, I don't think. Um, I think it's just the pictures. So I'm gonna have to go to like a dollar store and get some cheap frames to put them in before I hang them up on her walls because I don't want her to see paper on her wall and then just start coloring all over them because they're really cute pictures. Um, so this is a pack of six. There's another little rainbow there. They're kind of, everything's neutral color in her room. It kind of fits the vibe, which you guys will see when you get her room reveal. And I just thought those were too cute not to get, and I cannot wait to hang them up in her room. I think she's going to absolutely love them. So once those packages that we're waiting for arrive, I will bring you guys along and show you them, and then we'll have to go to the dollar store to pick up some frames for those pictures. And then once we get everything hung up, I will finally show you guys her room reveal. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. You guys are gonna gonna love it. I love it. We are on our way to go and pick up the packages. Two out of the three have finally arrived so we are going to the post office to go and pick those up for Skylar May's room. <laughs>
we secured the packages. And there was a lot more there than I thought there was gonna be. Okay, so now all I have to do is whip into Dollarama and get some frames for Skylar's pictures. I just have to look and make sure what size they are so I know what size of frames to get before I get them so I don't get the wrong ones. 11 by 14 inch, that is such a weird size. Okay, hopefully we can find frames for these. Wish us luck. <laughs> We successfully found frames, but it was not without incident, oh, was it, Skylar? <laughs> she just wanted to run havoc around the store, and she was so upset when we were checking out, even though you had a wand. Hey, Mommy got you a wand that you didn't even want. <laughs> oh, blue. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are home now, so let's unbox these packages. Look, it's her little rainbow. This is so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to hang this on her door. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Now one of these boxes should have her pictures in it that I got for her wall. And the other box should have her macrame mirror in it. So. These must be her pictures or posters, whatever, whatever you want to call them. And I ended up getting white frames to go with them. I was picking out black frames and putting them in the basket and then all of a sudden um, I got to like the back of the frames and there were some white ones so I decided white would go a lot better. Are you going to be okay? Oh my gosh, these are actually such nice quality pictures. I literally thought that they were just gonna be paper. Like literal paper or like cardboard, but they're like, almost feel like plastic, plasticky, kind of like photo paper. But look at how cute, that is adorable. All right, Skylar Mae, this should be your map my mirror. You're gonna have your own little mirror in your room. It's gonna be so freaking cute. A box in a box. Oh, that's actually so cute. It comes with a little comb. So you can comb through like the, the feathers, I guess. Make sure they don't um, get, make sure they don't get tangled. They're even wrapped in plastic right now or is there just plastic on one side? I could probably keep the plastic on so that they don't fall apart. Oh my goodness, Skylar Mae. Look at your new mirror. everything hung up in Skylar Mae's room. It looks absolutely freaking adorable. I'm finished with it, so it is finally time for you guys to see my toddler's finished and newly decorated room, and I am so excited to show you guys, so let's go. First, we got her little um, macrame rainbow on the door to enter and signify that this is Skylar Mae's bedroom. And then right when you walk in on her window here, she's got her piggy bank hanging from the top of her window. She has her dream catcher that my mom made for her. And then she has these little crochet um, baskets for like her smaller toys, her chuleries in this one. We have some shapes and blocks in this one. Um, her cat stuffy is usually in this one, but I, I think it's in that toad over there right now. And then she has just this little kind of like um, dry erase um, thing. Like if you touch it, you draw on it and then you press the 
guy's nose and it erases. Anyways, little things like that are in there. She's got her little tooth fairy um, pouch on the back of her door for when she loses the tooth. She can stick it in here and the tooth fairy can come and take her tooth and leave her a little goodie. Then we have her toy shelf. So um, I just did her toy rotation not long ago. It's pretty much all of her wooden toys. There's some like fidgets and sensory stuff down here, a stacking toy, and then her dollhouse on top. <laughs> Hi, do you like your new room? Um, occasionally on some nights I have been bringing the TV out of mine and Chris's bedroom, putting it on top of here and playing like a movie or a show for her so that she can have some quiet time in her room. Not that she doesn't have quiet time on, in here without the TV, but sometimes I want to watch stuff on the TV in the living room and she also wants to watch a show, so I will bring the TV in here, but it doesn't stay in here, <laughs> so. Judge me if you will, but I would actually like to get her a small TV to have on the top of her toy cabinet. A, because she loves it. B, when I was her age, I had like a TV and PlayStation in my room, so you know what? I just, um, yeah. <laughs> and then when I was cleaning out her closet, I found this S in like her memory box. And this S was actually used in her cake smash kind of photo shoot. Um, and it's been put away in a box ever since. So I thought it would be really cute to have in her room. I was debating putting the S on the door, but I remembered that I had this coming on the way and I really wanted to have this on the door, but I did think about switching them around and I still could if I wanted to, um, but for now this is how we have it. And then her closet is pretty much the same since you guys last saw it, but I did end up putting this toy bin in here because I seriously have nowhere to put it in her room right now. So we just bring it out periodically for her to play with those toys. And then when she's finished with those toys, we put them back in the closet. And then coming over to my favorite spot in the room is like her reading little nook and craft nook. So I went out and got another one of these foam kind of mats from Walmart. She used to have one, but she chewed all the outside of it so we ended up taking it away when it was at the old house. I decided to try again and same thing kind of happened. She took all the little border pieces off and started to chew them so I just threw them away minus this one piece that's back here to make sure that the table stays level but she hasn't noticed those pieces yet and hasn't ripped them off so we're gonna we're gonna play that by ear. <laughs> and then I just have her little table and chair on that mat. This is where she has snacks when she does um, have the TV in her room and she kind of watches TV, she sits over here. Um, sometimes she has toys, we do sensory stuff and we do sensory bins and fun crafts and stuff in her room. This is our go-to table that we kind of use. And then on this wall, I decided to hang our little hand print craft that we did in the old house. I just absolutely loved that painting that we did. So I decided to hang that up in her room. And then these are the pictures, as you guys know, that I just picked up today and put in these perfect white little frames. I am actually so happy with how they turned out. They are much better quality than I thought they were gonna be. And I had originally picked out black frames, which would have still worked, but I'm so, so excited and happy that I found white frames to go with them because the theme of her room, if you guys could not tell by now, is kind of like light wood tones, but gray and white primarily. So I absolutely love that there was white frames there and that I spotted them before I decided to leave with the black ones. I wanted to have these bottom ones kind of accessible and reachable for her so that she could actually look and interact with them, especially the feelings ones. So um, she could come up to it and point to the one that she might be feeling when she can't communicate and tell us. So there is that wall. And then coming down here, I pretty much just have this this bin filled with all of her stuffies. She has so many stuffies. If you have a kid, you know they collect way too many freaking stuffies and stuffies are always coming. <laughs> she absolutely loves it. And then I have one of her Pooh Bear Squishmallows over here, her little fleece kind of beanbag chair that we got her for Christmas with her little crocheted dolly on it, again, made from Linda. And the clothes actually come off of this one as well. So that's super freaking cute. Skylar May loves this little doll. And then this is her bookshelf that I got for her off of Amazon. Amazon, totally worth it. It was fairly cheap um, and I love 
I absolutely love it. I really wanted to get a forward facing bookshelf so she could pick out what book she wants to read. And she's been doing really well with it. She's usually going for the Peppa Pig book, but there's been a couple times where I've come in here and she's grabbed like the snail and the whale and stuff. And then I just have a couple bins underneath her bed. I have one bin under here full of all her um, overstock toys. And then the other bin is full of crafts and the rest of her books. And when she gets bored and isn't really interested in these books anymore is when I'll switch them out and that's kind of what I've been doing with her toy shelf over here too. So to get the most out of the least amount of storage that we have I got these bins and they fit perfectly underneath her bed so highly recommend that if you guys have a toddler bed with any space underneath it get bins for your kids stuff. And then coming over to her last kind of cozy corner in her bedroom, I got this white carpet from Walmart. This little nightstand is absolutely adorable and so perfect for her room. I got it off of Amazon. And then on the bottom, she has her moose with her kind of birth information, her weight, the time she was born, the date, her name. And I just think that is super freaking cute. I got this when she was quite little. Like, I think it was one of the first things I ordered off of Amazon for her. And I just, it's my favorite freaking stuffy ever. It did have clips on its ears that had like purple bows but Skyler kept ripping them off and chewing on them so I just decided to take them off altogether. but I just love having that. That is such a cute momentum that she's gonna literally have for the rest of her life so I absolutely love it. And then we have this little kind of crochet puzzle toy thing. I don't even know what you want to call it. And then she has her little jellyfish lantern over here or a lava lamp kind of thing if you will. I don't really know what to call it. I would love to also get her a lava lamp because she loves these kind of sensory lights. And then we have her little unicorn that I put on for her sometimes and it is super freaking adorable. Rain, really? You are not part of this show. <laughs> Rain has been absolutely loving being in Skylar Mae's bedroom though and sleeping on her bed more than Skylar does at this point. <laughs> we have her white lace canopy. This I also got off of Amazon. Absolutely adorable. I freaking love it. Skylar loves it. And then we have her bed with the rest of her Squishmallows. This is actually a weighted um, beanie baggy stuffy and you can take the bean bag out of its bag warm it up in the microwave and then they sleep with it and I did it a couple times um this winter because Skylar Mae got this for Christmas from my Nana and she absolutely loved it she got really good sleeps with this as well so I have no idea where she got this I think it would have been like London Drugs or Walmart or something like that but Highly recommend this one for your littles. Um, just make sure you don't warm the bean bag up too much because obviously you don't want to give them a really super hot bean bag to have skin to skin because it can, um, you know, cause like burns and stuff. But because the stuffy is so like fluffy and there's so much cushion in there, there's a pretty good layer in between. Um, but yeah, still don't want to warm it up too much. So just as a little disclaimer, if you guys have these for your littles or get one, just be careful with them. I got these two pillows at Walmart. This one is a little cloud. It says Dare to Dream. I absolutely love it. This pillow came from my mom's house that she wanted to give to Skylar. And then this little princess pillow actually came from my sister Stephanie. I think she got it for Skylar's birthday or Christmas. I can't remember what one. And I think she got that from Walmart as well. I could be wrong. And that kind of completes her room. I absolutely love spoiling my daughter and the process of piecing together her room like this was really important to me because there was such a long period of time where she did not have her own space. She did not have her own room because we were crammed into a one bedroom tiny place when we had her and for the first like year and a half, um, two years of her life. So getting this place, her having her own room, is a really big deal. It's a really big step and she absolutely loves it. She loves having her own room, her having her own space. She comes and brings herself in here and has quiet time with herself all the time and I hear her just absolutely destroying her room but at least she's having fun and me being the big OCD clean freak that I am, I'm okay with cleaning up her mess five times a day just so she can ruin it all over again. So I am so happy that her room is finally done. Obviously over time, like we might add things here and there and I might rearrange it and switch things up, but 
this is this is pretty much it this is kind of the finished bedroom of how i've decorated it and sorted everything out and i am so happy with how it turned out it turned out way better than i could ever have expected it to <laughs> do you love your room yeah, yeah. Now that I'm finally done her room and you guys have seen it and you've had the Graham room reveal tour, um, I don't have to hide her room from you guys anymore. I can come in here, I can incorporate her doing things in here into the vlogs because I've been leaving all of that stuff out because I didn't want to show you guys her room until I made this video. I am so excited to say that that concludes this video. I'm so excited. Cannot wait for Chris to get home and see her finished room with her pictures hanging up and her little rainbow and stuff. I just think that's so cute in her little mirror. So we're gonna hang out in here for probably the rest of the day, um, but I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below for more exciting content coming up and more content like this. And until then, I will see See you guys in the next one. Bye.